Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know that was like an awkward wave, but I didn't know what else to do with my hands. <laughs> If you are new here, my name is Natasha. If you never want to miss a video from me, go ahead and click that subscribe button and also click your notifications so you know every time I upload. In today's video, um, I randomly, I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor. I kind of just wanted to like switch my whole little routine up. I feel like I do the same intro in every video and it's not coming off as natural to me yes i'm a super energetic person but this whole thing is just did not feel natural so i'm just gonna start filming however i feel like filming these days like it's not going to be professional all the time it's gonna be me just chilling in today's video i did show you guys how i create my clip-in extensions how i glue them sew them how many webs i use the reason why i started making my own clip-in extensions was because I started braiding my hair up to about the crown of my head. I wanted to make sure the clip-ins were thick enough to cover up all my braids. So therefore, normally people get sew-ins. I like to create my own clip-ins. I started buying some clip-ins and maybe they just weren't good enough because the webs were super thin and I just looked bald. Like the rest of my natural hair is out and then I just have these like little strips of hair. And I was not a fan of that. These are my clip-ins. I'll go ahead and turn around for you so you can see what I'm working with. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello again. <laughs> Let me remind you guys, since I do braid my hair underneath, I do remove my clip-ins every single night, unless it's just one of those nights where I pass out. We're not gonna talk about those nights. I'm making my clip-ins to look like real hair versus adding more of like thickness to my hair. I have to make sure everything's on point or else somebody's gonna come for me. You already know. I use a 14 and 12 inch hair. And the reason why, I used to use 10 to 12 inch hair, but my hair, my natural hair ended up getting longer. So I kind of just adjusted it to 12 to 14 inches. I try not to go any longer than that because that means now I gotta blend. Now I have to cut the hair. It, it's just too much. So I'm, I'm just a simple girl. I do want to experiment with wigs, but I just haven't found my perfect wig yet. And I don't even know what I'm doing at this time. So one day I will buy a wig. I know you guys are probably thinking, well, you braid your hair and you're taking your clip-ins out every day. Why don't you just get a sew-in? So I just feel like I don't like anything being attached to my head for a long period of time, meaning I could take these out. I feel like a sew-in is like claustrophobic on my head. <laughs> I know it's so weird. I don't know, like it's, it makes me nervous. I, I, I don't know. Let me show you guys my nails. If you do not follow me on Instagram, you need to check me out. My nails are beautiful. Anyways, I'm so random. Let me do like an FYI. The first time you make your own clip-ins, it's going to take you a while. Like, at first it used to take me like seven hours because you're sewing every clip to your clip-in extensions. Nowadays, no. It takes me like three hours. I literally grab my hair, sit down, and I am just like, yep, got this. I am good. I create my clips, and then I go back and wash the hair. So, yeah, we are good to go. If you guys want to see how I make my clip-in extensions, please keep watching. And being random sitting on the floor today. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started. So of course, some of the things that you will need, I have everything laid out. These are some wig clips, and I try to sew each web with at least three to four wig clips. I do have a comb that I can comb through, some scissors, just regular cutting scissors. The string that I use is usually black, but I ran out of black and I went to a couple of different stores and they were out as well. I did use gold, but you will see what I do. The glue kind of covers up the string. You'll see how I do this. And I get the curved needle only because it's just easier to sew. Last, you will need some hair glue. I know you guys have seen this. Now it doesn't matter what type of hair you use. It just depends on the texture of your hair. I told you guys in previous videos, I never want to get caught slipping with like some different texture hair that does not match mine. So I do have the Bravo Brazilian Remy Yaki hair. This is human hair. What I have in right now is synthetic and I really like it, but I do miss curling my human hair. And this is 14 inches. 
And then I also get one pack of 12 inches as well. So I'm just taking the hair out. I don't know why, I've never seen that come on there. So shed free. Um, I've used this hair before and I do like it. It lasts for a good seven months, depending on how good you take care of it. This is the 12 inch hair. This is what it looks like. And it just feels so different than my synthetic hair. I've been using hot rollers. If you checked out my previous video, you will see that I use hot rollers to curl my synthetic hair. Now I get to use a curling iron again. Then I just drop everything on the floor. I totally make a mess. Now I'm going to open up. Um, you guys will see what I do. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait to open up the 14. No, no, I'm not. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. I lied. So we're not gonna judge how I'm looking right now because I didn't realize I was gonna be on camera. This is the 12 inch hair. And like I said, I do leave a lot of my hair out. The hair is the 14 inches. So it'll come down to about right here. I usually don't cut it, but you'll see how I sew both of these hairs together to make them beautiful. But this is the synthetic hair that I have in right now. Now I do need to measure my head or I can use my previous clip-ins to measure as well. And I'm going to start with the 14 inches. I went out to my pool to go work out. That's why I look like this. I don't try to make them any bigger. I try to do exactly how wide my head is because I braid my hair underneath. So this is my protective styling. So I'm just gonna go ahead and measure. So we're about right here. I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm going to cut. Any hair that I accidentally cut off, I just try to throw that on the floor. <laughs> I'm going to measure the hair since I already have how big my head is. I'm gonna take the weft and measure another piece and cut it. So I'm just measuring, making sure everything is even, taking my shears. No, these are regular scissors, not shears, I lied. And cutting once again. So now I have two wefts, and then I just place them on top. This is when I start to glue my wefts. I do about four wefts because I like my hair to be pretty thick, especially since I am not using this to make my hair fuller. I'm pretending like this is actually my hair. If you're braiding everything, there's gonna be no hair out. You have to make sure everything blends. I'm going to cut about two more wefts, and then I'm going to glue them. So I'm just gonna continue to do the same step and I'm gonna measure my weft. Remember, this is the 14 inch hair that I'm using. I have one, two, three, four wefts. Now I gotta show you guys what I'm going to do with them because I am going to glue them and you do need a blow dryer. Now remember, this is not for everybody. Some people, I don't blame you if you don't have the patience. I learned how to do it. I basically just taught myself. So I do have the patience to do it. So I'm gonna take my first wet. Here is the second one. And I'm gonna lay this one after I place some glue right on top. Oh crap, that was a lot of glue. <laughs> I usually don't use that much glue. I don't know what's going on. Taking this wet, I'm gonna place this right on top. I don't know why I haven't asked it all of a sudden. And I usually like to make my clip-ins right before I'm about to get my nails done. So I have a nail appointment tomorrow. So I try to do my clip-ins because I make a mess. Not this bad of a mess, but I do tend to make a mess, so. So I'm just trying to make sure it's not sticking to the paper towel. So I did pick them up. And like I said, this is the 14 inch hair that I'm working with right now, but I will blend in the 12 inch hair as well. 
That also helps with me not having to cut layers in because it basically layers itself. See, that's the trick right there. What you can do is, since I am super impatient, I'm grabbing my blow dryer and I'm just gonna blow dry the wefts together on high. This weft is not completely dry, but I have it where I want it. Did you guys see how everything just blew off? That blow dryer is not even that powerful, like goodness gracious. <laughs> Taking my third weft, and I try to make sure they're pinched together very well because although I'm sewing them, I don't want them to stick out. Grabbing some more glue. I don't want them to stick out of my head. I like them to lay flat, especially since, okay, come on. Especially since I braid my hair, I just want everything to lay flat. taking my third weft and laying it on top of the previous one. And like I said, I don't want my weft to be super thick, so I'm trying to pinch down pretty hard on the weft. I grab my blow dryer once again. And that's how thick the weft is right now. It's still pretty thin. Kind of just comb through the hair. So I'm just going through every one of those holes right there. So just grabbing my string. I'm trying to make sure you guys can still see. And I'm going through each weft, just bringing the string up. This is how much string I usually use. And I'm going through each individual hole that's on the clip. And you see it gets harder because you're going through every weft. So this is what it's looking like so far. So this side of my clip is done. Now I'm going to move over to this side. Remember, it gets a little tough because I am going through the wefts because I want to make sure everything is connected. I don't want none of my clips to fall out. Remember, I like to keep these for about six to seven months. Now you can see that the clip is completely sewed on. And I know what you're probably thinking, why doesn't she just get a sewing machine? <laughs> I don't know, like I really like doing this. It doesn't bother me. I'm going to go ahead and cut the string. And I'm gonna cut the other half of the string as well. We are going to tie them together. You could double knot it, triple knot it, just getting rid of the extra string. So this is what it looks like. I'm hoping that my camera is not going blurry. And I can just clip it. Like I said, I know what you're thinking. You'll see what I do to all the gold. Once again, we will be repeating this step. So I'm just grabbing another clip. Remember that it's right side up. So what I mean is your clip teeth are on the outside, not on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the clip on top. It doesn't matter what side I go for. 
because both sides are going to need to get done. Grabbing my string and my needle, we're going to do this again. So remember, I'm going through every single part of this clip. Once the glue tends to dry, the tougher it is to get through for webs. is complete so I have both clips done Onto the last clip I'm just gonna lay that down a little bit towards the edge Clip is completely done. I just comb the hair out. Make sure no hair is sticking to the clips. Now this is for the fun part. So this is what it looks like. All the webs are complete. This is the side that I clip onto my head. I'm gonna go back in with my glue. And I'm going to cover up, so I'm actually gonna put glue over the string. That is how I am able to cover it. So I'm gonna take the glue, place this right over the gold string, and I just use a little bit of glue. I don't care about the inside because nobody's going to see that. I just care about the outside. So everything is pretty much black because of the glue. Like I said, nobody's going to see the inside. I'm going to take my blow dryer once again. I do that for a good 45 seconds. That is what the glue looks like. So this is the First web, the second one is going to be pretty much the same size. It's gonna be right above it. So I don't, I can measure from this web. So I did finish the other clip off camera. It was just easier and I'm doing the same exact motion. Let's go ahead and apply our glue. We are going to place that over the string. Grabbing my blow dryer. So I have completely finished all my clip-in extensions. Remember, this is the largest one that's going to go around my head. I don't like the smaller clip-ins for some reason. Uh, like I said, I'm not hiding the fact that I'm wearing clip-ins, so this is, just works easier for me. So do whatever works for you. But this has 12 inch hair as well as 14 inch. So this is what it looks like. And then of course I have my smaller wefts that I made. I stack these right on top of each other, right on top of the braids, kind of like this. And then I do have two of the same size, more of like the circumference of the middle of my head. So this one's a little bit larger. Of course I can tell because it's gonna go above so it's going to, this is what it's going to look like. So this is going to be first, second. The one with the four clips is going to be third. This one has four clips, but it's a little bit larger. This goes right on top. And last, then I have like the biggest left. Once you see it in my head, it's just going to look a little bit better. I like them to be thick enough 
to cover up the fact that my hair is braided underneath and I'm not doing this for thickness or fullness. I'm doing this for a protective style. So I do make five clip-in extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. If you do happen to make your own clip-in extensions, please let me know your experience and what you do. I would love to hear that, especially so I can make myself quicker when making these. Like I said, this protective style has worked for me forever, like for years. If this video was helpful for you, please do not forget to thumbs up the video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys later. Bye.